What up fam, what's going on? Decided to do, I guess, a little face-to-face uh, -face action real quick. So I'm about to get home. We got some parts for the uh, K-Swap Civic. Um, it's almost done, guys. My intake comes in Monday. It finally got shipped. Uh, unfortunately, I had to get like a center feed. I think I explained that in the last video, but I got the black Skunk, Skunk 2 Ultra. That was gonna take like a whole like two months to get here so i ended up outing out for the regular like gray one silver whatever um but yeah so that's pretty much where we're at right now uh my k-tune uh water like adapter thing came in and um the ac power steering delete came in and some lights that i ordered so we're just gonna knock all that out today and then hopefully um i don't really want to like blow air in the bay or nothing there's still shavings everywhere man uh i just don't want them to get in my cylinder so i was gonna get like compressed air in a can and kind of like blow all that all the shavings off but i'm kind of scared to do that man so i don't know what i'll do yet but we'll see let's get home and then uh check this out so here we got my k-tune stuff there's one more thing in the basement i did get the valve cover in but this is the breather filter pretty much um I guess there's the part number if you guys need it. Then this right here is the manifold adapter. What I was talking about. Because the one I have in my car right now is not... I think it's eBay. So obviously... And it's old. So you have to Honda Bond. So I want to replace that with this. And then we have the AC Power Standard Elite. Which that's the part number right here. So we're going to install this today. It comes with the belt obviously. The pulley and all that jazz. I got it in black. So... Yeah, let's get this on, guys. So I got this, obviously, lifted up a little bit. Move this back a bit so you guys can see where this whole AC power steering delete is going to sit. It's going to sit pretty much right here. Um, so it's going to move the uh, alternator down a bit. Uh, it's only because I cut this for the center feed. So um, if you have, like, the, we'll say, uh, Jack Spania intake, you don't have to cut this. You can run it up here. Uh, it is kind of a cleaner look when you're running at the bottom, but K2 did have issues in the past for the bolts breaking. So um, I will be using Loctite, blue Loctite. Yes, it's red, but it's blue. So I will be using blue Loctite. So guys, you do get all this beautiful stuff, this beautiful hardware right here. We have the brackets right here. This one goes where the AC is, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, actually. That goes on the top i think yeah because the bolt goes through here and then your alternator sits in here so yeah i think this one's for the top i'm not too sure i haven't done this in a while i did this last time when i was uh supercharged but they definitely ramped up their quality though guys look at this oh my god it's actually pretty fire and it looks real good like real good and then you get more spacers and more bolts and instructions, thank God, because I, like I said, haven't done this in a while. So this is going to go like this with the spacer in the back right here. And then you'll uh, put it into your block. Let me get this bolt in real quick. It's your longest bolt. I'm going to just go crazy on this. So, fam, I got that little bolt in right there. That one. Um, I got the top two, well, one in right here. Because I can't put the alternator on without getting this one on. I uh, So, um, pretty much, I got this one in, got that one in. I was going to leave it loose, but I feel like I'm not going to have enough space to tighten it behind the alternator. So, I'm just going to go ahead and tighten it. And then I'm going to get the alternator on right now. And then the pain in the ass is this. 100,000% this is going to be the pain in the ass. One thing I forgot to mention, guys, I even forgot to do was uh, there's a washer right here. You got to put it in. All right, fam. And now that you got the bottom one on, like these two over here that we were just putting on, uh, you just got to see. They do come with two uh, spacers, two different sizes. Got to see which one fits best for your spec. Uh, like I said, I'm running the, uh, the Type S pump, so I'm not sure which one's going to fit. It, might, it looks like it's going to be the biggest one they have. Um... And yeah, so the top's on. I just got to screw it in all the way. Um, and then that spacer's over there is on as well. Uh, now this one just got to come up. 
get on real quick. And guys, it's all done. It wasn't a pain. All right, guys, so for the top part though, this part right here, you need a five mil wrench um, for the bottom portion. It's a little wet because I brake cleaned it, guys. But um, And then it comes with two screws, but we're gonna use the shorter one. The longer one is for the back if you have like uh, a gap back here. But obviously you can see we don't have a gap, so we should be good. And this one's probably the six that we used earlier. Correct. Okay, cool. So yeah, let me get this on real quick. Can't do both at the same time. I think I got it on. So they do supply like a little washer. Um, some water pumps they state on the paperwork leave a gap. So the little washer kind of covers up that gap. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. K2 and install. All you need for the top is a five mil and uh, the six mil that we used earlier. So that's all you need. Easy peasy. I really cleaned this motor up nice. Actually, I'm pretty hyped. Um, I'm just going to wait till next week. That's when my intake comes in. And then I'll go ahead and uh, put the intake on. Uh, I moved the harness even more. So I'm very close to putting that ground in. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. And see you guys in the next one.